G'day guys, Mozzie here. Welcome back for another video. Um, I've got something really cool to show you here. It's a 2x2 two two up and down piston elevator. Um, something I've just come up with recently while working on a, another project of mine, my um, TNT pump 2.0. Uh, so while I was doing that I discovered um, a bit of a trick with um, comparators and pistons and that led me to make this um, elevator. So let's take a look. Okay so here we are. Um, some main points about this guy. It's uh, really cheap to build, not very material intensive. Uh, it's really simple to build. It's just a bit of a repeating pattern that um, is easy to remake and um, it it can be a little bit laggy sometimes, but um, yeah, for the purpose of showing you how it works here, I'm uh, I'm actually going to have to bend the rules a little bit. Normally, it will work by just standing here on the pistons, um, but because I'm recording as well, it do doesn't like that. Uh, I guess you'd call this sort of controlled chaos as far as the redstone goes. So. Um, just to demonstrate how it works, I'm just going to put some blocks to stand on so I don't glitch out. Um, Alright, so you push the button, and yeah, you, you go up. Now, as I say, w without recording, it's a little bit smoother than this. Um, but yeah, just to show you that it does work to push you up, I just wanted to put the blocks here. So we go up and up and up. Uh, it can go up as high as you like, really. Um, yeah, there shouldn't be any restrictions there other than the world limit. And, yeah, so we're at the top. I'm going to take these blocks off and stand here. On the way down, it's actually okay, so I'll just do that now. And so we're on our way back down. See, the wiring is really quite simple. And, yeah, so way back down. Okay, I'm just going to try go back up again. Sometimes after a successful run while I'm recording it does work, so let's have a look. Yep. It's wor working. Oh, a little bit glitch. Okay, it's working. It seems to be depends where you look as to uh, whether it works or not. But yeah, it's working at the moment, so let's uh, let's leave it like that. As you can see, yep, it does work. There we go. Oh, that's lucky. Okay, so uh, let's take a look at it. Okay guys, here we are at the stripped down version. Uh, I've taken all the blocks off from over that one and this is just the bare bones of the elevator. As you can see it's only four blocks wide and the main trunk is only six blocks across. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six across and uh, yeah four across that way. Um, the bottom here where we we go up, the buttons and everything, that extends out by another two blocks here. And at the top it extends out by another two blocks as well, two or three blocks. But uh, the main trunks, yeah, six by four, which is really small fo footprint for this kind of elevator. Um, so yeah, over here we've got our ascension button, and this one is our callback button. Uh, we've got some pistons here set up. They're both sticky pistons, just facing each other. Underneath we have the redstone torches which are powering these pistons here um, and over the back here we've got an on off switch so I'm just going to turn it on and you can see now that these redstone lines are pulsing so that means it's on. Um, these guys here are actually trying to extend right now but because these are extended they can't hence why it's stopped um, when we pu push the button it retracts the pistons and allows them to be pulled back with the top ones and that's what starts this thing going up and up. So as you can see it just goes straight through. 
past the comparator levels as it goes up. And when it gets up to the top, it's sort of the reverse. So now the top ones are powered and the bottom ones are trying to extend and they can't, so it's stalled. Uh, then we hit a button here to unpower the top ones. Pushes up for a moment and then it starts to go back down. So we'll just ride it on the way down here. So yeah, you can make this up pretty high. Um, and it's really... Um, there's not a lot to build it, so it's something that you could build pretty early on. It's not like an end game project or anything. Um, I don't know how it would perform on multiplayer servers. I haven't tried that yet. Probably not great um, because of this piston system here. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I'm just going to see if it works again here. I'll push that. Yeah, it's working again. A little bit of glitching there, but that's cool. So yeah, it's pushing me up. Going up. All the way to the top. There we are at the top, and yeah. Okay guys, so that's about it. Um, just wanted to show you this um, design to get get it out there and and let people know what I'm doing at the moment. Um, if um, if you want to see a tutorial, I probably will end up making one. Uh, if you want to subscribe, you should su subscribe, and that helps me um, know that people are interested and keeps me doing these kind of things. Uh, I do have some more projects that I want to build, which are cool like this, and they should be coming out pretty soon so yeah if you want to see those make sure to subscribe um, add a like if you can that'll be awesome and uh, share it around to people that uh, that you know who play so that they can see what can what you can do I'm sort of hoping mostly that the community gets a hold of what I've done here and uh, I don't think I've seen anyone make anything like it yet so hopefully the community can get uh, a hold of this hopefully make it better um, and I'd love to see what some of you guys come up with and like I said I've still got a few tricks uh, up my sleeve with this one which hopefully will be coming out soon so yeah that's um, my 2x2 up and down elevator and uh, thanks for watching